Are you in Prague looking at the beautiful astronomical clock and suddenly you became hungry? Well, here's the right video because we're going to show you places where to eat within a couple minutes from the square in restaurants that we nicknamed the plate restaurants. What are those? Well, you simply take a plastic tray, a plate, you get your food on it and you eat it like a cafeteria style. Let me show you the first one. The first place is quite popular, literally one minute from the main square, and it's called the Czech Kitchen Havelská Koruna. It's been here for a long, long time. Tourists know it, locals know it, and that's where you get not only the regular tray food, but also the traditional Czech food. So let's sample some. This place is very popular among all the social groups you can imagine. Students, construction workers, businessmen, YouTubers. Um, and it gets packed quite early. Right now it's 11.20 uh, and it already is filling up with people. Uh, and quite often there's a big line uh, almost to the outside. I never wait in line, so either come early or come late. We got Sanchkova, which is the uh, most popular dish they have here. Very creamy sauce with the dumplings. You don't eat the dumplings like bread with your hand. We saw some people do it. No, you use fork and a knife. The other way around, of course. The important part is to drown the dumpling in the sauce so it goes smoother into your stomach and it's very delicious. One of my favorite sauces. If you want other recommendations for the typical Czech sauces, I would go with um, Rajska, which is the tomato sauce, or the dill sauce, which is Koprova, absolute favorite. Do you like dill sauce? Mm, I thought so. You either love it or hate it. Just like our channel. Why would I say that? If you're unsure of what to get, you can check out their picture menu that is outside because inside they mostly just have the Czech names and it may be a little confusing for you, so you can pick here and they also have the top 10 dishes they have with English names. Uh, and we're heading to place number two. So here we are in the vegan restaurant country life that is hidden inside the most beautiful inner block there is around the old town square. We're literally steps from it. Uh, so we got some uh, vegan dish. Uh, there's multiple choices. It goes by weight. So you can get the salad bar, you can get the rice stuffed, um, uh, beans, and so on and so on. And the price is 33 crowns for 100 grams. Uh, so this was less than four euros, 3.7 to be exact. So I was kind of surprised how actually cheap it is here and obviously you can get a bigger plate more food since i already had one meal it's hansa's turn so let's start uh, this is a place where me and yannick we've been walking around for ages and never been in actually once we saw the buffet the menu we figured out that that was a big mistake so don't do that mistake and come here and yeah let's take the food <laughs> Okay, here comes the review. It's really good. It's so good. I'm kind of sorry for you that you will not be able to taste it. Oh, wait! This one's for you! Ten more, yeah! <laughs> well, it was really, really good, but we have some trick in our sleeve. I don't have sleeves, but we still have some more places we want to show you, so let's go. And we're moving on. As I said, the restaurant is hidden in the courtyard, but they also have a little store. So if you want to buy some food for home that is vegan, you can do it right here. And we're gonna head back through the Old Town Square to the next place. I did reach the Old Town Square, this lovely uh, Scouts Institute, but before we continue on with showing you places where to eat, we would like to say thank you to our partner and our sponsor, which is Surfshark VPN. 
I did say that I'm in Prague on Old Town Square, but my computer that is also here is actually just now in Australia. And my phone that's also here is actually in Brazil because I use a VPN service Surfshark, which allows me to put my devices, all devices I have virtually anywhere around the world. You simply uh, select from the list of the countries that are there, you place your device there. Now, what's it useful for, you ask? Well, for example, if there's content that is restricted only to Australia, now I can access it with my computer. If it's only accessible, uh, the content in Brazil, I can go with my phone, or I can switch, or I can go to any country I want, even though I'm here in Prague, Czech Republic. All thanks to Surfshark VPN. Now, if you want to use the service as well, you can do so by clicking the link below our video or simply using our code, which is Honest Guide, thanks to which you will receive 83% off discount and three months completely for free so you can try the service out. They have a 24-7 uh, assistance. If there's anything that goes wrong, they will immediately help you. Give it a chance, but I'm still hungry, so I'm going to give a chance to another restaurant here in Prague or Australia or Brazil where my devices are. Boys and girls, another cantina, another plate restaurant, this one called Appetit. Uh, I got a beef on garlic with uh, spinach and with dumplings, but different dumplings. These are potato dumplings. They have different structure, more potato-ish. Uh, still eat it with a, with a fork and a knife, not with your hand. Uh, this place is on a street that leads to the Old Town Square, which is the main square, and there's many bars. It's very popular for bar and club culture, but I'm happy there's this uh, little cantina still working. Very cheap, uh, cheaper than the first one we showed you. Less popular, cheaper, so maybe uh, try this one. And I'll try the food. Yannick, how do you do it that you have such a slim figure when you have three lunches a day? Well, the first one was breakfast, the second one was lunch, and this is a dinner, all within two hours. So those were the three cafeteria tray table style restaurants, literally steps, literally minutes from the Old Town Square, budget priced. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind that the vegan place is closed on weekends and all other places, the two other places are open actually till 7 p.m. the last place we showed you and till 8 p.m. the first place we showed you open on weekends. If you want more cafeteria style restaurants featured on The Honest Guide, let us know because there's many more, not only in the city center, but also on the outskirts of Prague. So maybe we can show you those if you're interested in this kind of content. Let us know in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and if you like the food we showed you. Also, you can consider subscribing to our show because I will see you next week here on our channel on Sunday, 6 p.m. our time, new video. And a check word at the end will be tats, which is the tray we used for our lunch, tats. And there can be two, two tats, which would be two trays, but in the slang that would always be used for 2,000 crowns. So give me two tats, dej mi dva tats, wouldn't mean give me two trays, but it would mean give me 2,000 crowns, always.